welcome back to Zone Zoomer. In the last episode, we slaughtered a lot of chickens and trained cooking, got bamboozled by the chunk map tasks, but it all ended well, and I still managed to do all the tasks, even the surprise ones. Alrighty then, let's roll two, see what we end up with. Alright, Portstorm and Falador. Wow. These are big and important chunks. Um, obviously, Port Sarim is much, much easier, and that's kind of what I was um, preparing for. I was sort of setting my account up for in case I get this chunk, because from the other ones, it seemed the most, uh, di the most difficult. Falador is very difficult. It is very difficult. We have to chop U logs and burn U logs, so that's 60 wood cutting and fire making. Rest of the tasks are just killing things it looks like obviously my task could be different from what it shows but i don't think i will actually have enough tasks to be able to progress to 60 wood cutting and 60 fire making although faldor does have what i really want which is a bank access to a act an actual bank port serum however gives the uh, access to a bank deposit box which is better but once we bank something we cannot retrieve it, but I could bank the gems that are just flooding my inventory, don't need those. And maybe some uh, some of these like random event clothings, I just want to have them, but I don't need them on me. Um, the rest of these look simple, and we get an upgrade, an adamant battle axe, an adamant weapon. I've been with this bronze simi for four full chunks, so I'm most, I'm probably, I am probably going to pick what's the rim. We're, we're not playing here, you know, it's it's better to go this way, I think. Calculate tasks, we have 11 tasks. Wield an Addy weapon, oh my god. Bake a plain pizza, see this is what I was preparing for, so now we don't have to do cooking. 43 magic, oh my god. I thought we would have to do low level alchemy. This is so much more magic than I expected. Uh, obtain an adamant battle axe, pirate's treasure, which is potion, complete the quest, we can complete the quest, get some magic XP. Kill a seagull, kill a thief, two types of thieves, and kill a woman. Okay, so looks like this junk is going to be magic training all the time. 43! We are currently 10. <laughs> wow. We have just unlocked a new chunk, let's venture in it. Wow, a whole new town. A bar, veos, a bank deposit box. This gotta be good. We also have access to this food store. Mm, not too much great stuff, but um, it is something. All right, well, I think we should just begin training. Go to um, Betty's store and buy some runes. That is not one of the tasks to browse her store, so... I will simply trade her and buy some runes and probably go kill some guards because uh, as we saw I can safe spot them. Let's also not forget about this clue scroll that I have right here. Oh my god it is right it's right here. It could be a one step clue. I'm not sure if from beginners you could get a staff but if you can that would be perfect. Please be a one step clue. Oh no. No, I held on to this for so long. What a waste. Ugh. As you can see in my inventory, I've purchased over 300 mind runes. And we're going to try to safe spot some guards. I'm also going to just uh, pickpocket whenever they are not in the perfect position for me to safe spot them. Because I still need the money for runes. And this way I can make the money back and also regenerate my HP while I'm just safe spotting them. Well, unless I get a staff from somewhere, this is going to be very painful for the hand and also very click intensive and just I won't be able to unfocus because I have to manually cast all these spells. I do not have a staff. I will look into where I could get a staff. I'm pretty sure from beginner clue, you probably can, but I think I only have like one or two steps uh, that I can do now in Port Serim. I'll have to check again. So guards are kind of hard to train on right now, even though they kind of have low magic defense. I'm not hitting a lot. I'm, I got up to 19 magic. 
I may kill maybe some goblins or some men over here. I'm not gonna kill women <laughs> because that is a task somehow. For some reason to kill a woman in this chunk is a task, but to kill a man it isn't. So I'll probably just train on these goblins that I used to train on before. Uh, maybe imps. Imps have really low magic defense. And I'll go for guards a bit later. And I have to kill guards though because uh, eventually I need that nature rune in order to superheat the bronze bar. That is a task. Alright, what we will do right now is do the witch's potion quest. So let's just go and buy the eye of newt. Uh, get a pick an onion back to my onion field as well as cook and burn this meat and there we go I have all the items burnt meat I'm new onion and a rat's tail uh, I just wanted to do this quest quickly because it will actually benefit us right now with the magic XP that we can get we'll be really close to a level 50 XP to go let's go ahead and tick this task off which is potion complete quest this is actually our first quest completed and our first quest point and that's our first teleport unlocked wow i've decided to thieve in between training magic because i will just thieve until i am 2 hp and then go train magic uh, on goblins because they don't really hit me ever and regenerate my health while i'm doing that and in the meantime, I get more money. And I've also decided that I will be using the curse spell. Because I did some calculations and it seems like that is cheaper. Sure, I'm not getting HP XP, but it is always, whether or not you splash, guaranteed 29 XP. So that is so much better than Windstrike. And Windstrike, I splash very often. I can't use it many times in a row, so I should just be able to use it once per goblin but it is I think a good increase in XP and there's 31 magic we can now also teleport to Lumbridge two escape routes two different towns we can access super close to the end of the timer as well so I think I'm going to for the reset task kill a thief there's two thieves here I have to kill one of each for the tasks and there's one regular and one plain I'm pretty sure this is the plain one I'm not going to kill him because he drops nothing but bones so we will kill the regular one in case I ever need to kill him again for I don't know his drops I think he drops runes so I hope he doesn't beat me up we should be fine and this will be our reset task and there we go. He is dead. He has dropped nothing but bones as well. There it is. Kill one thief. I think that is the regular thief. It's not the plain one. Well, I'm already here and I don't really have anything to do. So I'll just reset the timer so I can go thief. Um, I will do the seagull to hit KO. We killed the seagull. We finished the task of kill one seagull. I've bought some runes and I think we're gonna go... I think the most cost efficient thing to do is cast curse so I think I'm going to go outside of the cow pen and then try to just curse <laughs> curse all the cows so they can't attack me and then maybe wearing this armor I will splash sometimes and then I can curse again because no matter if you splash or not you still get 29 XP and it really is the most cost efficient thing and money is really tight right now and thieving is very 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 slow so i'm just cursing all the cows and then and then i'm hopping worlds and then cursing all the cows there because um you can't keep cursing the same cow uh it says that it's already weakened so we just curse all the cows and uh, hop worlds i never thought i would be training magic this way this is a first while cursing cows completely forgot that uh, the timer was almost at zero well very close so we hopefully will make it i will kill a woman because i think that's probably a very easy task to do we're out of run i really really hope we make it here we are here's our woman uh 30 seconds left this should be simple okay if we can get to her <laughs> i think this is the uh sorry about the background noise i think this is the closest we've ever been like not on purpose so there we go this is our task done 
Let's take it off. Heal one woman. Look at them all staring at me. I may have nightmares about cows tonight. Thirty-seven. Now we can teleport to Valador, the town that we're next to. I am so broke. Big level forty magic. Teleport to our own house that we do not own yet. Wow. Okay, what we're gonna do right now is do the task of making a plain pizza. I may as well do it now because I do need food for thieving. So I may as well just make it and I'll make three. Uh, obviously I have to bring extra bowls of water in case I burn the pizza. But I think it's a good time to do that task as we could just make use of it. I need food either way. Okay, didn't think about that. Uh, I need money to purchase the pot of flour and cheese and tomato. So we're just gonna quickly thieve some guards. We don't want to waste no time. I think 92 coins is plenty. Uh, the ingredients are pretty cheap, but we do have to make our way back there. Okay, super close. Super close to not making it, but um, that is a burnt pizza. That is a plain pizza. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, this actually this actually was so stressful. Four seconds. Oh my god. I am so glad I brought three because we would have burnt it. Jesus, that actually made my heart go pitter patter because jeez. Four seconds. I think the previous chunk I said that this that the previous chunk was the most like the closest to the end of uh, end of the timer that I was scared, but no, this? Wow, I don't think we've had- we've been this close to the end of the timer. Oh my god. Here we go. Bake a plain pizza. We've done it. It is a plain pizza. Thank god. What a rush. I love stealing. I love taking things. I think the next task that we will do is... Purchase ourselves an Adam and Battle Axe. It sh we should have enough money. 4.1k. Buy one. It is an investment for the future. It will, however, take up one inventory space because I am not allowed to equip it. For that is another task that we do not want to complete. Well, here we are. Obtain an Adam and Battle Axe. Complete it. You may reset the timer. It will simply stay in my inventory. It will take up a space, but it has to be done. I think it is the best time to get it because I think maybe after this hour, I could actually put it to use and it would be sad if I didn't have it. I've decided instead of making a few pizzas and then killing chickens and then cooking those chickens, uh, I'm using egg and tomato for food, which is another thing I have never ever done in this game but it is so much simpler i just have to pick up the eggs uh make scrambled eggs uh do burn some but they're so much easier to acquire than raw chicken and they heal so much more those scrambled eggs on their own heal five but then i just run to port serim buy tomatoes for like three gp each uh, on every world and no cooking required just add the tomatoes and they heal eight that is so good the pizzas heal 14 um but I only ever make six because it just takes so long. I have to run back and forth, fill the bowls of water, bake the dough, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, I sometimes also burn some. But this is super good. So much nicer than pizzas. And I think in the end, if I bring this many, I have much more HP than from those if I don't burn six pizzas. Okay, I think I have enough money for... All the runes that I need to get 43 magic, so I'm going, going to not waste any more time uh, thieving for now because we really need to get on these tasks. Because uh, I also need to get a nature rune as a drop, and that could be really bad RNG. So we're gonna go train, buy our runes, and train our magic. All right, I think we have all the runes we need for 360. I need 359 casts for 43 magic. So I bought a few extras, uh, to be sure, but we're left with 163 coins. Mm, I don't know what we would need coins for right now, so I just hope we can do this 
really fast. 42 magic, we are one level away. And we are 10 seconds away from the timer running out, so let's do the task of equipping an adamant battle axe or adamant weapon. So here we are. Oh, first time timers. <laughs> ah! Timer's going off. I don't know how to not make it red. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've paused it. Here we go. This is our chunk map. And 30 attack, wield an adamant weapon. We only have four tasks left, which these two, honestly, I guess they complete at the same time because it is smelts a bronze bar with superheat item and then smelts bronze heart. It's the same task. It's just two different requirements, which is one smithing and 43 magic. I assume we will tick those off at the same time. But for now, we need to cast curse another 134 times before 43 magic. Also, we can finally retire our bronze scimitar thank you we had a really good run get up to almost well 40 strength 40 almost attack and 30 defense with this free weapon that we achieve that we obtained in the first chunk but it is time to become oh my god it's the addy era look at that do you know how high we can hit with this i don't but i think it's gonna be really good compared to now and here's 43 magic we can now cast super heat item oh my gosh this took quite a while and it was pretty stressful because i didn't know if it, we would make it actually uh we made it but we still need to get where is it we still need to get, need to get the nature rune and uh, yep we should probably get on to that right now i'll start killing guards um also hoping for a random event because some of them can also give you nature runes as a reward. Let's see what we can hit with this thing. Oh, it's pretty slow. Eight? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we are shredding this guard. Oh my god, it feels good. We are so fast that for a split second there, there were no guards alive at one time. Look how fast we are. This is so much better. I mean, it is it is a very, very slow, it's a very slow weapon, but all in all, I think we are killing them much faster than we would with a, uh, not rune scimitar, with a bronze scimitar. Um, I just logged in. I tried to enable my plugins or do the profile and uh, my rune light crashed. And then I logged in and it looks like this. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Should we just deal with it or uh, not do this? What's under here? <laughs> this is weird. So apparently it's the region locker GPU uh, plugin that's messing with this. That's the plugin that can show me this dark s stuff here and just, you know, looks nicer for a uh, chunk man. Uh, some sort of new rune light update just is not compatible with it, but we still have to play. <laughs> I hope they update this. Uh, we will try to not pay attention to it, even though it is pretty terrible to the eyes. There's like no way even to to um, line it up nicely, but it's fine. My thoughts now is to maybe kill guards for like two minutes and see how many kills in two minutes we can get. Oh my god, you can't even see the drop. Another way you can get nature runes is the hobgoblins south of the crafting guild, and they actually have two times higher drop rate which is nice but they are not really in my chunk they only sometimes come to my chunk or something so i will need to try to lure them out with magic maybe additionally they are also much higher level i just want to see if it's worth killing guards or hobgoblins oh my god this looks terrible it's like we're on a different plane right now Look at the crafting guild. So I'll pause the timer for a second just to show you guys uh, that I am in my chunk. But if you look this way, it, it, you know, it looks like I'm in the wrong chunk. If you look this way, it looks like I'm really far in my chunk and I should really get this hobgoblin. Oh, okay, I'm in the wrong chunk. Never mind. Uh, I just wanted to mention that I managed in the same time that I killed six guards to kill two hobgoblins. And one of them dropped the steel longsword. That is 1 in 128. A nature rune is 1 in 64. So it looks like it's 
basically three times slower to kill cop goblins. I don't know if they just have more HP, I haven't really checked, or higher defense, but it takes three times longer to kill them, but the drop rate is only two times better. Plus, the chickens and the food is right here next to the guards, well, next to the guards, near the guards, so I'm probably going to stick to them even though the drop rate is 1 in 128 and they do only drop one nature rune whereas goblins drop four ah they finally fixed the um the plugin thing and i also installed this random event thing because random events can also give me nature runes so i have to look out for it i've been pretty dry on random events lately but if we do get this nature rune we just really need one that is like the only grind left for this chunk and then we can just do these easy tasks and try to figure out what to do in between the time we have two resets we have a task to kill a thief and to do pirate's treasure up to step one which is just to talk to red beard red beard frank let's play a game called what have i received from guards that is the same drop rate as a nature rune but is not a nature rune number one blood rune grain iron ore and these five steel arrows oh my god are you kidding me this is this is the one we get we can only get gems so i'm not wasting my time well we just got watermelon seeds which are one in 651 okay we are on our way to do a task uh i think i will do the pirate's treasure one because it seems like we have enough time no i'll actually kill a thief because we have too much time we need a plain thief i think it's this one the one that's not cool he's just plain and boring and that's the task done what do we get bronze bolts nothing here we go kill one thief plane we may reset the timer we do not have a lot of time we are also over the drop rate because i've killed 158 guards and the drop rate is 1 in 128 we've received multiples now the steel arrow i got another grain another grain i am starting to get nervous i mean we still have 42 minutes and then we have another basically hour on top of that but still i would prefer if we got it in this hour because oh my god this is getting sketchy we are officially two times dry we've killed 256 guards no nature runes in sight and we are only six minutes until we have to go and reset with the last reset task that we have but two minutes after i said it oh my god thank god oh i was getting so so nervous I was getting so scared that we would not get it. Here's our one nature rune. Let me Oh my god, we can we can cast superheat at him. Oh, I'm so relieved. I am so relieved. Okay, I'm so sorry. It actually did not clip the oh my god, the actual moment when it dropped, but we got the nature rune. I I was just talking and I forgot to clip it, but here is our one singular nature rune that we've received. And like I said in the clip, it was 2 minutes after I said that we're double the drop rate uh, it took 262 kills this is just perfect just perfect timing here we are doing the last task start the prize treasure quest yes uh here we go the quest helper already opened oh here we go we have started prize treasure up to step one which was to talk to redbeard frank there it is prize treasure and there's our first level at 50 that is our highest level. Here we are en route to our last two tasks, which will be just one task. Our cash tag is back to 11k after thieving this hour. We gotta go grab our pickaxe, mine a copper and tin ore, and smelt our first bronze bar with our one singular cast of superheat item. And our copper ore. And let's do this. Oh my god. Our first bronze bar. It completely consumed our nature rune. There's our bronze bar. We pull up the task list. And here we go. 43 magic smelt a bronze bar with superheat item. And smelt a bronze bar with superheat item. We have finished both tasks. No active chunk tasks. I honestly didn't think we would be able to do this, but look at us. We are here. Um, yeah, these are the stats. When we finish this chunk, 375 total level, almost half a million total XP, and we can now select our new chunk. 
Wow, Zoomer was so close to the timer running out. I feel like I got really lucky there with those pizzas. And I feel like I say this every episode, but I really cannot believe we managed to do all the tasks. Next episode, we will be picking a chunk and it will be more special since now five chunks have been completed, which means that the timer will now give two hours per task instead of one. The accounts levels are growing, so this for sure will help out in the future grinds. If you are enjoying this series, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!